Well, hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. I'm just finishing up building a house in a new location after kind of giving it a first look previously. I wanted to move my house and uh, try to learn some new skills in a different part of the map. So we're on the eastern side of the beginning village that you probably saw in our first episode. And I'll probably be live streaming this game, too. So if you haven't already seen some of those live streams, make sure you check back and uh, watch me do some of this live as we get a lot more work done, of course, in live streams than videos because there's just simply more time to do. All right, we're going to cut down some maple trees here, finish off the house. This time, instead of building one out of that other material, waddle or waddle or whatever it is, we're going to be building most of it out of logs from, I guess, maple trees. So that'll be kind of cool. Maybe uh, we'll be able to get syrup fresh from the uh, walls of our house, which will be nice. All right, let's pick up some logs here. As you can see, we're uh, pretty encumbered right now, so we're kind of slow when it comes back to uh, getting to the house. we got quite a bit of weight on us until we can actually build our uh, storage box inside the house. Actually, you get a free storage box whenever you finish the house, which is pretty cool. But this is a really nice spot in the map. We'll need to remember to eat as well, so we'll uh, do that shortly. Food and water will come at the end of our day after we're done uh, building our house. So let's go inside, which by the way, all you gotta do is just push the door open, which is kind of makes sense. That's what you do in real life, right? You push into a door and there you go. Okay, we're going to build with a few more uh, logs here. Now I'm going to put some beautiful windows on the inside of this house. It's so cool. You can customize your house as well. You can customize the materials in which uh, are built, uh, what it's built out of. You can even do stone if you want. You can do a bigger house, and you can also uh, put windows and doors and whatnot wherever you'd like to. So that's pretty cool. Are there people over there? Are those bandits? What are those? Are those actual people? Raptor goes and investigates and gets killed. Oh, I thought they were just like kind of people crouching. Oh, I see a deer off in the distance. So can you see that if you look really closely? Yep, there's a deer up there. So the next thing we're going to have to do is go hunting after we're done with this and grab some extra food. So we'll definitely do that as soon as, uh, well, that'll be our next quest as soon as the house is done. Is it falling? Oh, it is falling. Good. Yep, almost fell on top of me. That would have been a uh, GG and a death. All right, we're gathering lots of sticks so we can do a nice wall or a nice fence around our house too, which will be nice. And once we have all the stuff in place, we should be able to... Yeah, this game is gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Again, if you like games like Crusader Kings and also maybe eh, Kingdom Come Deliverance and Banner Lords, and this is definitely like a game for you. Of course, you're doing a little bit more construction and living than just battling and traveling. So let's go ahead and finish up the rest of the house here. It looks like we're carrying two, four logs each. Yeah, it's going to take a little while. Let's see if we can finish off the ceiling. Ceiling's going to take one log each, so we can finish four of those. So it takes a little longer to build the wooden house, but it's much more rewarding. I also wanted to leave some trees next to it, so that way our house didn't look so barren. We'll go ahead and cut this tree down next, too. Now, of course, we can do things like blacksmithing in the game. So right now we're using stone tools. Not the best, but it is a start. And once we have all of the uh, stone tools uh, pretty much finished off, where we built a few things to get us started... Like, for example, skinning animals and whatnot. Then we can upgrade and maybe buy some more tools out of iron from the blacksmith in town. And then become a blacksmith ourselves, which would be cool. Now, we're actually not allowed to build our house inside the town. We actually have to build it quite a ways out. In fact, this is about as uh, close as I could build to the town. So we built here. More wisely, perhaps it would have been good to build in the center of the map. But this town here is actually kind of the largest one. I think each one of those black silhouettes is an inhabitant. So according to this, it seems to be one of the larger towns. But perhaps the towns will grow over time if we complete quests or something like that. Let's go ahead and finish off the roofs here. Very nice. And we can do it from inside too. A little easier to do it inside, but much more satisfying to see it on the outside. All right, we need one, five, uh, let's see... About 10 more. Actually, wait, is there any other sections? We might need about 10 more logs uh, because once we start our uh, hunting, I think we also need a log in order to make our bow and arrow. So it's probably a good idea for us to get quite a few logs.
All right, set a rabbit trap, make a wooden spear, make a stone knife, and hunt a wild animal. All right, let's do that. So let's start with the first thing, which is pretty simple, is making a stone skinning knife. So let's make one of those. So that's made with two rocks, and those are kind of tricky to find. All right, set a rabbit trap, so we're going to have to make traps now. So a rabbit trap made out of sticks. Oh, look at that. We can make all sorts of different little fishing nets, too. Awesome. We'll just need to learn the skill. Ah, we can place a rabbit trap. So we'll build it out in the field. Okay. Let's place it uh, somewhere near the house. Like by this tree would be a good spot. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now the rabbit trap is set. I don't know if we have to bait it or not. I guess not. All right, let's make a wooden spear now. And we'll grab some lunch, too, while we're at it. Don't forget to remind me to eat. And again, if you haven't already, clicked and tap that subscribe button. Now's a great time to uh, become a subscriber for more survival games, building games, and much more. And thank you, everybody, for smashing like and hanging out. This is just gorgeous. I love this. Okay, we now need to hunt a wild animal. I did see deer up here, but really, if we're going to hunt a deer, we're probably going to need a bow and arrow to do that. But we could find something else. So let's equip that. And let's actually grab some food and water now. Let's see here. Should be able to have ourselves an apple. Oh, I uh, also apparently stole <laughs> some St. John's wort. I misclicked when I was inside of town. All right, let's have ourselves an apple. Let's see how that replenishes us. We're 30 out of 100. 33. Oh, yeah, that doesn't give us very much at all. Let's have some dried meat. May as well go for the hundo. Oh, it also lowers the weight, too, of our capacity. All right, that's close enough. And then as for water, we should have water around here somewhere. Uh, let's see. We should have... Oh, we have coin. We have 50 coin. And we should have ourselves a... Uh, some sort of a thing to gather water in at some point. I may have found one earlier. So I don't know exactly where that is. Uh, let's see. We should have a sort of a thing to drink water out of. But we can go down to the lake, too, if we want to. Oh, apparently that gave us water by eating. All right, cool. There's the deer over there. I can see him. Let's go ahead and equip a spear. I wonder if we can actually throw these or if it's just a stabbing weapon. Simple wooden spear used to fight wild animals can be crafted in book, workshop, and smithy. Oh, so this is book, so anything you can craft in the field. Okay, let's equip that under three. So we probably won't be able to throw this. Let's see. So we can thrust... Or hold aim. Ah, we can throw it. That's awesome. And then left click to shoot. Okay, let's go find a deer. So I, I see him up there. You see him? How close is he? Let's try to approach very quietly. Okay, we're very quiet right now. All right, let's see if we can hunt ourselves a deer. Good idea to grab some stone while we're up here, too. There's the deer. You see him? There's his head right there. I don't know what the range of this is, so if I miss, we'll chalk that up to experience. There's another one over there. I need to be Jägermeister. Ooh, we have berries. Hopefully they're not poisonous. There's the deer. Is that a deer? Oh, dear. Yeah! Oh, damn. Sir? I need that. Sir. Sir. Are you... I, I think he's going to bleed out. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that got him. <laughs> Sir, I'm going to need that wooden spear back. Sir? We're only able to chase him, I guess, because he's wounded. That is a big wound to have. Feels more like a baby cow. Are these just dough, I guess? Well, I should make another one, but... Oh, there's a big buck right there. Nice. Beautiful. Well, geez. All right, at this point, I may as well just craft another one. Let's do another stone, um, wooden spear. Oh, I craft another one of those. Oh, I guess I have to go to the crafting menu. Oh, oh, look at this <laughs> leg glitching out. Let's go into crafting. Let's do another wooden spear. 
All right, you wait right there. I'm assuming the doe were probably easier to kill as the buck is probably bigger and thus has a higher hit bar or health bar. Where did the deer... Oh, there he is. That's the one I hit. Now let's keep chasing him down. This is kind of kooky, but should have been a one-shot, one-kill, honestly. Let's wait until he stops again. We'll just kind of follow at a distance. He did stop before when we were chasing. I would hit that one, but... Oh, a little bit of lag there. They're all kind of staying together in a group. There's that beautiful buck again. Gorgeous. I miss. But I get my spear back. Looks like it takes a little bit of damage every time you throw it. This is just ridiculous. There we go. There we go. First try, ladies and gentlemen. Takes two spear to kill that deer. Alright, it is a doe as I thought. Boy, I wonder if the buck would have been much better. Okay, let's see. Let's get out our stone knife. We'll equip that under four. That's cool. We'll start with a doe, though. And we'll try to get that buck another time. There we go. All right, we have ourselves three leather and four meat. Interesting that it gave us that instead of hides. There should be tanning in the game. I would like to hunt the other deer again, but... We're all done now, so let's continue to survive for a season. All right, the hunt is complete. Not bad that we were able to find a deer and hunt it so successfully. I mean, the fact that it uh, that I actually hit it was good. And hunting seems to be a little cheesy. You can just chase them around a little bit, but oh wow, I actually wandered all the way back to the uh, to the uh, <laughs> to the village. Okay, well we'll go for that big buck sometime. That's going to be awesome. I want to kill him with a bow with one shot, nice and clean, so to get some practice with the wooden spear is cool, but, you know, we, we gotta get him with that big kill, that big, beautiful uh, archer kill. Alright, so it says to survive for a season, so right now it's spring, and I think each day counts as a month, so I think it's uh, three days of each, I could be wrong about that, but it could pro uh, progress it forward. Let's see if we can cook now, we have our cauldron here, nice that they gave us that for free. We can make uh, porridge, gruel, uh, pot potage, stew, soup, and meat with gravy. You can see all the different things that are required for this. Beetroots, carrots, cabbage, rye grain. So we can probably buy some of this stuff. Also in the chest is all the things that we have and what we probably don't need. Uh, for example, we could probably get rid of the torch. I don't know how we could put things in there. Let's see. Transfer is F. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, keep all this stuff just in case. Let's see what else we might not need. Uh, the clothing, keeping some food on us is a good idea. Uh, we have dried meat. I wonder if there's a way we can actually um, cook this meat while it's here. Uh, let's see. E is... There it goes. Oat rolls. We'll keep that. I also found some mushrooms, too, so we could use that in a stew. Um, yeah, plantain, apples... Unripe berries. Oh, okay. These are not ripe, so let's... Oh, there it is. E if eaten, it can cause poisoning, but can be used for dying. Okay, so we can actually... Uh, no, we don't want to die to death. We want to die something else. Uh, let's see. Okay, that should be fine. We have a bunch of rocks and sticks and stuff on us, so we'll transfer that. I don't need any of that anymore. And uh, let's see... Alright, so we actually have leather. One of the main crafting resources for creating weapons, tools, or clothes can be collected by killed animals using a knife. Let's see what other weapons we can make here. Um, it looks like we might need to learn other things, too. Oh, we can actually craft a simple sack. And that might be able to uh, transport some more stuff with us. One simple sack minus three leather. Okay, now well, this is a good thing to make. Now we can, might have more... Let's see, crafting resource and container for many different things. Okay, so we actually can craft more things within that now? Let's see. Maybe not, but maybe we can carry more stuff. Uh, furniture, fences, campfires. Ah, we can make a fire out in the field with 16 sticks. And let's go ca check out that trap. I want to see if I can do fishing and stuff in the future. That'll be kind of cool. Alright, let's go out and check out the uh, rabbit trap. See if we caught anything. 
And it is down. And indeed, there's a rabbit in there. Wow, we got it. Nice. Oh, and it's at 62%, so you can use it a few times and then reset it. All right, nice. Let's activate that again. Very easy to make that trap. So food is not going to be so difficult. And we get a little bit of leather from the rabbit, but deer seem to be uh, much more of the wiser idea. Okay, well, if we're going to survive for a season, we at least have a little bit of food now. One thing we need to go uh, do is quests, but I want to get some more building materials for upgrading the house or building anything in the future. So we might need fuel to cook, for example, so probably not a bad idea to have extra logs sitting around. And we can go and start getting onto some quests and making some cash and then buying things that we need. With 50 gold, I don't know how the pricing is in this game. 50 gold could be a lot. Like, for example, perhaps like a, you know, a sack of grain could be like 10 gold and that could last us a season. So we'll have to see kind of how much gold really is worth. It'll probably be worth its weight in gold, though. There we go. Takes a little bit of time to cut that tree up. Okay, more logs in our inventory. Good. All right, I'll drop some of these off now. Okay. I wonder where we can learn some of these other skills. We'll have to definitely see what we can do with that. Let's see. There's more logs and sticks on us. And more leather for the bunny. Nice. Okay, let's go into town, see if we can get a quest. We certainly have plenty of food and water. I believe we could also find a, uh, like a, a waterproof bag or whatnot, whatever you call it. A canteen, basically, uh, which I did find the first time around, but we've restarted to build our house somewhere else. We might need to reacquire that. The town, not too far away. There's a nice flat area for building over there, so I wonder if that'll be part of a quest, too. It looked like a nice fenced-off area. Unfortunately, we can't build on it. It would have been the perfect site for a home beautiful homes here indeed okay so there's various quests around I suppose with the exclamation points let's see if anybody's home here hello and is it the kid who wants a job I guess so what's up kid uh, let's see can I help you with something uh, mister can I ask you something what is it I wanted to play pretend as an adult, but I require... Oh, you need some items to pretend to be an adult? What do you need, a gun? Here, hold on, let me see. What do I got here? There we go. Here, have that. Uh, let's see, maybe you can help me. I'll give you anything, friends, to spread the good word about you. Oh, this will give us rep. Okay, this could be good for future jobs. I'll bring you what you want, but you have to promise not to do anything stupid. All right. Uh, let's see. Wait, what do you, what do you need? Can you move a little bit? Oh, that's cool. You can just, like, tell people to move if they're blocking your way. So if an NPC happens to be blocking a pathway and you can't get around them. Yes. Now, we can also buy ducks, too, which is pretty cool. 2,000, though, so that gives you an idea of how much 50 gold is. It's nothing at all. I can't even aff afford a gosling or a goosling. Let's see. Um, so how do we see this quest? Let's see here. So here's our quest, right? Oh, we have knowledge on certain things. Failed quests, we have nothing failed at the moment. Let's see. Just like Papa. Uh, let's see, deliver to the kid a wooden spear times two. Oh, we already got two of those. Here you go, kid. Perfect, good thing we kept those on us. Very easy to make. All right, how do I turn in the quest? Can I start playing now? Here you go. Oh, we already did it. Cool, plus five. So what did that do for our approval? Oh, wow, we went up 10%. Perfect. All right, awesome. All right, that's a good quest. Quest complete. So very easy, very easy stuff, uh, at least to start with. We also have skills. Do we have a skill point? We have one skill point to spend on. I don't know if that's enough really to even know yet. Oh, and you, have, you can only do it within certain talents. Survival knowledge or extraction knowledge. We'd either get more materials per mining. Oh, we can actually learn mining. Hmm. Uh, well, we don't know how to do that yet. So we can uh, we can do the skill once we unlock it. Iron liver, resistance to poisoning. Uh, work in progress there. Survival knowledge, one skill point for survival activities, if we do that. I think we'll hold on to those until I know a little bit more. I'd rather hold on to them and not spend them until we can spend them wisely. That might be a good idea. What was our other quest now? Let's see. Uh, the journal. Unigast stories. Talk to Unigast? Unigast? Let's see, where is he? 
there a map marker on that? Yes, there's a gold. Well, there's a couple of golden exclamation points. So those are either quests now or quests that are pending. So it looks like somebody's home in here, maybe. Alwyn and Aldina. Okay. Just going house to house trying to find. Oh, there. Oh, no, that's not what we're looking for. We can also drink from there if we need to. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's check out what else there is to do. Survivalist. So we need to survive for a season. We get dynasty reputation for that. Uh, let's see. Talk to my future here. Perhaps he... Well, actually, that's that guy at the bar, isn't it? I'd forgotten all about that. Maybe he's at the bar. Although I don't see a marker, but it might not matter. Nobody's here. I don't want to rob people. I just want to see what might be laying around. If it's not marked as rob, we can take it, and there won't be any punishment for it, so it's a free offering from the townsfolk. Let's go into this shack. This seems like we might not be able to get in here. Oh, we can. Oh, I don't want to rob. Okay. Well, wandering around the town is actually nice. There's quite a bit to look at, and it really looks cool. You can tell what everybody does. Most people of which have their own garden, and we'll probably have to start our own garden, too. Oh, here's a little barn. Looks like there's some sort of a grinding wheel here. Beautiful. Now, I wonder what these little bags are. Perhaps they're little quests for things? Different types of quests? We'll have to see. Of course, there's a whole tutorial, but who wants to read a TLDR text when you have a game to play? You know what I mean? Okay, what would this do? Show me your wares. Ah, we can trade with everybody. So that's what that means. So eggs are ten gold or uh, six gold. There we go. Animal feed and meat. Okay, so these are people we can trade with, or perhaps we can. Oh, okay. We can talk about the weather or possibly other gossips, which might reveal more quests. All right, that's cool. Well, let's go to the uh, white exclamation points. That's probably where we should go. I'm just enjoying walking around the town a little bit too much. So here's somebody we need to talk to. Oh, you have a... Oh, you have a... I see you have a couple of hoes. Okay, let's see. Hi, my name is Raisamir. Uh, I'm Alwyn. I don't recognize you. I came here from the south looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Well, good. Uh, let's see. Every day I cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same thing every day year to year. Doesn't it bore you? Uh, of course it bores me. How long do you think I can do the same thing over and over again? Uh, did I offend you? All right, fine. On top of that, I handle my my damn scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest the crops. I think I know how to help you with this. I'll be back soon. Ah, we have a new level one quest. All right. So what exactly do we need to do for this? Uh, deliver to Elwyn a stick. Oh, dude, these are simple quests. I keep leaving thinking like we're gonna have to go on a big adventure. It's literally just giving people what they need. Hey, do you have a minute? Uh, let's see. How do I give him what he needs, though? Oh, you know what? We don't have a stick. I put it all in storage. Well, we literally just... Boom, right here. Okay, we're good. <laughs> That's that easy. Ah, oh, he has a torch sitting here, too. All right, there you go, sir. Here is what you needed. Are you joking? How am I supposed to use it? Give me your scythe. Oh, you surprised me. Are you some sort of craftsman? How did you learn how to do this? I know how to create simple things. Maybe I'm a farmer like my father, and I don't know much either. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll get back to work. Uh, sure, the rye won't cut itself. See you later. All right, so we're just doing this for clout right now, basically. So very easy stuff. The town is gorgeous, man. I really would like to see... The only thing in this game is voice acting would be great, but also I'd, I'd like to see people riding around on the roads. It'd be really cool to see, like, a, you know, like a cart or a horse or something coming by every once in a while, somebody transporting stuff. The villagers just don't seem to leave the town, but they do seem to leave their homes. I've seen people out on the streets, so that's kind of cool. All right, we got somebody in here. Let's head inside. And we need to speak with you, lady. Can I help you with something? Uh, have you come to help me with an errand? I pledged to create some pants for local folk, but I ran out of ingredients. Sure, let me help. Uh, what does she need? Uh, let's see. 
I've got to go now. All right, old rags. Wife, a wife is necessary to ensure the uh, survival of your dynasty. Oh, maybe I could wipe, wipe her up. Uh, what does she need exactly? I wish it would tell you what you needed. I, I don't know if there's a way to do it other than going into the quest, but let's see. Uh, let's see. Wait for the next day. Oh, okay, so tomorrow will be awarded by Elwyn. Uh, Unigast is around here somewhere. Whoa, 75 coin if we do this? Deliver four leather. Oh, damn. I just spent it on a bag. Oh, okay. Darn. That's okay. It looks like there's no other quests in the town. Let's see. None that we know of at the moment. There are a couple of question marks, though. But that's her, and that must be the other one. So that's a pending, couple of pending quests. Where is this other one? Is it Which house is it? The next house on the right. So this one here. Is it is it in this barn? No, not the not the goose shack in here. But this is where we need to return the next day to talk to what's his name. Oh, here's Unigost again. Uh, good to see you. How's life treating you lately? Not bad. I have my own house. I didn't starve, and people have started to talk to me more and more. That's good. I heard you pick up a hunting. Oh yeah, I did. I uh, yes, I I got into hunting now. I got a rabbit, in fact. Uh, let's see. There's plenty of game in the woods. Is that a problem? No, on the contrary. We don't have any stupid laws around here that would reserve game for noblemen. And you can do me a favor and earn some goods. Oh. Uh, there's a fellow hunter called Sambor living in the lodge on his own. He doesn't uh, He doesn't like me much. He's kind of a loner. But during the last visit, he dropped some remarks about a band of wolves. That could be a problem. There's wolves in this game? I don't know anything about that. What? Okay, so now they want me to go up and talk to the guy. So last time...
another wooden spear. Beautiful. All right, let's go deal with that uh, damn boar. See if we can get those into the inventory. We'll get another one into four. And we'll deal with the skinning knife later once we've killed this thing. Okay. There's the boar right there. Ooh, he's kind of aggroed already. Oh, maybe not. Oh, damn, right in the eye. Headshot, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Oh, he's still twitching. We got a twitcher. Oh. I hear, like, the, the audio's off where, like, you hear footsteps. Mm -hmm. 